Yes, yeah, sir. Big Sui checking in, man. Trapping out the trap house. Hot 1079. Oh, yeah. That's what I got a special, some special guests. My brothers, you know what I'm saying? Them out of state boys <laughs> in the building. Shrim Life, Ray Shrimmer's in the building. What's going on, man? What's, what's good? good? What's good? What's Where the hell good? y'all been, man? Last time I seen y'all, we was out of Shrim town, life. drunk somewhere. I think we was in a strip club last time I seen you. For real? Yeah. And then I think the last time I, I think we was in Memphis or Tennessee. I don't know where we was at. Yeah. Somewhere. What's, somewhere. what's been man, going we, on? We, been, we just been cooking up the album and stuff. You know what I'm saying? We've been, been off the grid. I done been in Miami for, for a little time. So what was it? Just like I just needed a break or what? Oh, no, no, no. Because everybody has questions. Like, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, no, for sure, for sure. But I know like, y'all been saying, like, race, y'all brothers. So yeah. that's, that's always going to be for life anyway. Yeah, I took I took me some time off personally, if, just to answer the question. I took me some time off work on myself. For okay. A bit, and I did that, and I'm back, and I feel great. And Ray Schremer, we never stop. You know what I'm saying? I know there's a lot of speculation going on, but we never stop. Right. We record music the whole time. So now we're dropping the fourth album, Shrimp Life 4, drop Shroom 4 Life. Drop April 7th. Right. That's crazy. So, yeah, no time off. T- t- taking like a personal break, because I know like mental health is everything. Like, did you feel like you was getting overwhelmed with just the industry? Because, you know what I'm saying? Y'all, Mississippi boys, y'all, y'all boys took off. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I remember the whole story. I remember the beginning. Yeah, not You facts, know what I'm saying? Facts. I remember when one single was one single and then you went with another one and came yeah. back with the other one. You know what I'm saying? So, mm-hmm. I, under- I saw all of that. So, was that kind of overwhelming? Like, you know what I mean? After a while? Not, I didn't. To me, bro, that's what I always wanted to do. So right. I was like, I, you know what I'm saying? I'm just, I love that shit. Right. I'm, I'm yeah, keeping it, it going, you know what I'm saying? I'm keeping it going. I love it too, but um, just, for me personally, I had a lot of, um, I had a lot of shit I had to work on. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I, of course, we came in the game. It's my dream and everything. Right. But when I first came into the game, I knew in my heart, like, I wasn't where I wanted to be, mm. like, in my spirit. Like, you know what right. I'm saying? Just, I need to work on myself. So after I realized, hey, we straight, we got money, like, uh, we got hits, we going to be around, uh, you know, on, when Sway dropped Unforgettable, I had been heard the record. They was like, oh, get on Unforgettable, gonna be a big record. And I was like, nah, but like, I feel like this was the moment for me to, um, cause we just had Black Beatles too. So right. I feel like this Which was the moment crazy. for me to like get back to like me, you know what I'm saying? Right. Cause I had lost myself for a little bit, but mm. now, you know, shit over with. And we turned up. And we we happy because the club's been missing y'all. Back and better. You we, did what I'm we, saying? We got to run these numbers down because I don't know if people just give y'all good like, graces, you know what I'm saying? Y'all boys, sometimes about seven times platinum Black Beatles. No type five times, swag four times, power glide three times. That mm-hmm. was in 2018. Mm-hmm. This could be us three times. Look alive two times. Throw some more two times. No flex. Two. Come on now. Yeah, yeah. that's pressure. The numbers don't lie. Artists numbers not doing don't that. Lie. Artists not doing that, especially duo groups. Like you know what I mean? Um, yeah, for sure. We already like solidifying the game. It's just like we just like with me. I'm just I'm keeping going forever and ever. Like right. Do you, don't stop. do you see a big shift as far as like the music and where the music is at soon, since y'all been taking y'all taking your hiatus? Like, you know what I'm saying? Not just kind of calming down, chilling. Like, where do y'all see music going now? I see, uh, yeah, it's definitely, music definitely shifted. You know what I'm saying? It's not, it's the social media age, you know what I'm saying? So music definitely shifted. It's like, it's a different, it's different topics they want to hear, you know what I'm saying? Right. But quality music is going to thrive in any industry. So the type of music we put out, it's not, it's supposed to go against the grain. Right. You know what I'm saying? It's supposed to cut through. It's supposed to be different different topics, different lingo, you know what I'm saying, different subjects. So yeah, okay, it's now. perfect for us. Like We want it to be different, so we can just come through I want to say you like this. Tanisha sounds like a freak. I want to meet her. Tell me about, <laughs> t- tell me about Tanisha, man. Tanisha. <laughs> Who is Tanisha? She that one. <laughs> Who is Tanisha? Is Tanisha real? She bad. <laughs> Tanisha real, man. Tanisha real. It's a Tanisha everywhere, every city. You know what I'm saying? It's a lot of Tanishas in every city. Beautiful women got themselves together. High maintenance. You know what I'm saying? Like the fancy, the, the nice things in life. Yeah. She rocking a new bag right now. Like She had, she had one of the flyest restaurants right now, eating gourmet. Come on now. Might be out the country. Come on now. You know what I'm saying? Tanisha got her own bag. Tanisha sophisticated. Oh, I ain't mad. I ain't mm-hmm. mad. Man. So this new album, you know what I'm saying? Getting back in. Was the process of, of working with Mike Will different? Did y'all go in and like create new rec all new records? Or are these like just records over the years that y'all just like kind of put together a whole project and kind of like just went through the bag? It's like, okay, we got all these records. Like, how are y'all putting this all together? Some of the records were uh some of the records were new and we recorded them. Uh, for the album when we found out what direction we wanted to go. Some of the records were records that we've been had. We know this is like this could have a one lot of ones. potential. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, this is one of the ones. And so, yeah, we we added those two, and and we got a good compilation of music. So let's uh, let's talk about this Golden Blunt I heard about. Oh yeah, why? I, honestly, <laughs> I did. I, it didn't. Ha- it didn't even serve a purpose. It was just some. I don't know. I was a big stoner, smoking a lot of gas right around that time. I used to say free the pot. Mm. 
I used to run around screaming at, and uh, I made a gold blunt to represent <laughs> the pot that I was free in. You know? I ain't mad. What, what, what was the craziest thing you done got? Like, you know what I'm saying? Just like off the wall, like, why did I buy this? Any regrets of anything? Uh. Man, I be spending my money wisely. Like, <laughs> okay, you know what I'm saying? I don't, I don't even, like, I be buying cribs, cars, and you know what I'm saying? So I don't really, it's stuff that don't depreciate. Like, So so how did y'all get that mindset? Because I feel like a lot of young cats, when y'all got in the game, y'all was y'all was kind of like, y'all, y'all really didn't go too crazy. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. just off the wall. But, like, what's that process come from? Like, of y'all just making sure that y'all stacking y'all bread and save y'all money? Because a lot of folks ain't investing nothing. They just going crazy when they get on. Bro, I'm so happy I stacked my money because I ain't worked the last six years. You come on, what I'm saying? And goddamn, <laughs> that's that was a blessing. But stacking your money, like I feel like when you're doing a lot of shows and you're working a lot, it's not hard to um stack your money because you're always busy. Staying busy is an easy way to stack your money. You know what I'm saying? So wait, what's your go to? Man, I, I just stack three times what I spend. You mm. feel me? So like, if I'm spending some, I'm stacking three times that. You feel me? And okay. I got it put up. Like, I, t- I take care of my taxes and everything. I live in Miami right now, so it's tax free. Like, so I don't got to pay. Come on now, tax free taxes. Tax free you know is good. Yeah. Tax free living. You know what I'm saying? So I'm aware of that. I'm fully aware of that. I still act like I work in McDonald's. You come, feel on, me? <laughs> come on, man. Come on, man. So we're corporate now. Come on, man. Who, who, so who buy the most jewelry out of y'all? Y'all, Swizzy. y'all still huh? big sway. So you you buy jewelry like that, man? I treat myself. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> no, Jimmy, don't play now. I didn't see you. I, you, I don't you, buy jewelry you, no you, more. I, like I, I ain't worked the past six years, bro. I'm staying mine. I realized quick. I was like, bam. Okay, I'm not doing shows. Pandemic happened. Whatever drama. I'm not getting booked. I'm not finna be out here trying to impress nobody. So I know a lot of people try to live above their means to keep up an image, but I'm so down to earth. I ain't even with that. You dig what I'm saying? I I like that. Love life. This shit for my image, man. You know what I'm saying? I gotta. Yeah, now my image is me. I'm 100% thorough. I just got this. Like, I ain't never, like, I ain't gonna lie. I was slacking. Like, cause my first seven years in the game, I never had a signature piece. Like, Mm. you know what I'm saying? It's like, I'm gonna get one. I'm gonna get one. So I finally just got the SL. You know, Come on, it represents you though. Settings, you know what I'm saying? Go, go crazy. That thing real, going for crazy. For sure. So, so love life. I, hold on, I can't even lie though. I got a stupid ass gym chain. But look, you see like. <laughs> hey look, hey look, hey look. I'm saying, man, you hey, look, look, I do that. got a stupid ass gym chain, but I don't buy a lot of jewelry. That was the question. You do know what I'm saying? Okay, but, my bad. So like, bam. So but you like, got enough jewelry that you need to find no more. But let me check you out on something though. I'm going to just give you like, for all the high energy people like me out there that's listening to this right now, uh-huh. I know the big chain shit, it look cool. You dig what I'm Can we cuss? Go ahead. The big Chain shit, it look cool, right? But me, I be on stage, I be going so hard when I'm on stage. And I got my shirt off because you know I'm fine as hell. I got, I got to <laughs> show my body right off, here. bro. I got to show it right here. I got to show it, so I be jumping around. Man, my chain that gave me a black eye before that shit done hopped up. Boom. You know so, yeah, that's so all I'm, bad. I'm back on the little chain wave. I don't care what nobody say. It's over with. I'm about to get the little choker. The choker, yeah. the weed choker. Yeah, it's it's, a, be good. Gym, JXM is right. over with. I'm too turned. So so tell me about love life. Like, is it difficult? Like, as a man in 2023 to date, especially in y'all status. It's a lot of love out there. I know that. I'm saying I, <laughs> I get that. I'm talking about like real genuine, like, this could be something oh, yeah, different. Like, you know what I'm saying? See with me, like, I like to really deal with a person like for a long time and then like see if it's serious. Like, what I come to notice is like people don't really deal with each other like more than like four years. Right. And they end up like end up cut off after that like but it's like I want to see something go longer than like seven eight years like then I'm a really like that's somebody you spend your lifetime with like if you spend your lifetime with somebody you gotta know you gotta know that person in and out you gotta know their family so it's like I feel like all that come with time so I'm I need to meet I need to stay with a motherfucker consistent like nine years then we can make that shit official okay Jim I'm in a personal intimate relationship with myself and you know I'm I'm really not going to Look for nothing serious until my kids get hit about nineteen. You know right. what I'm saying? Cause right now, I'm having fun with them. I got, I got them. You dig what I'm saying? How's how, how, how's father life? I always like to hear like you know what I'm saying like young fathers doing their thing. Cause I feel like right now in the world we living in, we we do like a lot of black men and black fathers in our kids' lives, and I think that causes a lot of problems with certain things we go through in society. But what is it like being a father? Like you know what I'm saying? Like how's fatherhood for you? Fatherhood for me is kind of tricky because uh you know I'm not married or I'm not in a serious relationship. Me with, either. I got three, so but I, I, get it. I do love mm-hmm. my uh the chil- my my children's mothers and um I do love my kids. I try to see them as much as I can. You know what I'm saying? I try to be there for all the birthdays, the holidays, 
And uh, yeah, it be it's it's fun watching them grow up. Cause they year. funny. What's the joy like when you when when you when your son act like you, your kid act like you? Cause my daughter, I swear she gonna get a nose ring. She, she got her first <laughs> downtown day car. She like, Dad, I told him that da da da. She like, do little boy scared to meet me? He like, Dad, he's my dad is just me, but taller. Like, yeah. <laughs> like they they grow so fast and become your personality. Like, is there anything your kids do that piss you off? Like, but I can't even get mad because I would did that when I was little. Nah, so I'm um. I don't be getting mad at my kids. Like bro. I do. If they do some stupid <laughs> shit, if they do some stupid shit, most time because they like my oldest one is about to turn five right, right now, so they ain't really had a chance to do nothing to piss me off. Oh, it's you coming. Know what I'm it's coming. Yeah, unless they just be waking up. I'm not my my youngest. Like he's two years old. Like he'll wake up. Right. He'll do like he'll do some shit like this. Cause I be boxing, so I be taking him to the gym when I box. You know mm. what I'm saying? So one day I was knocked out. He woke up before me. I never don't wake up at the same time as him, right? So he crawls over there. He gets on my chest and he just start punching me in the face. Two piece you. I was happy as fuck. I was like, yes. <laughs> hey, he watch he paying attention. Boop, boop, boop. Yeah, that was funny, man. But that's it. That's hard. That's hard. April seventh is going down. What are we looking for with this album, man? April seven. April seven. That's a, I, I'm, I'm, I'm excited Big because hit. I just feel like the music y'all bring to the game, even just the single Tanisha, is like it's just needed. And the it's, club's not fun no more. It's all it's too thug. Yeah, it's too yeah. hard. It's too hard. To balance it out. You know what I'm saying? For sure. We need Sherman add a little balance to the game. That's what we A little, a lot of balance. We make the party yeah. music. We make the fun music. It's okay to be a nerd music. It's okay to just chill music. You know what I'm saying? So, so this album. I mean, what, what, how many how many tracks on this thing, man? Come on, give me give me twelve a little tracks on the tracks. album. Pressure. A lot of producers, Mike Will made it, Sony Digital. You know, it's like, the list goes on and on. It's just, it's flavor for every neighbor. Like, it's got Turn Up on there. It got a couple slow songs. It's just, bro, it's just, it's vibes. Like, we talk about and they know the Shrimp things. Life signature right. feel, you know what I'm saying? And we, that's what we putting out. And tell me, give me your top three. You know, My top, top three, three. Um, wait, what day is it coming out? April 7th. This is interview? No, it's out. This is coming out. Ah, oh, shit. Like, I don't. What's your, I mean, what's your, what's your top three? You got top three oh, songs? My top on? three on the jump. I had to say a song called Origami, Stan, and this song called Activate. Okay. My top three is Flown It, Sexy, and um, Benjanese. See, the fact that y'all got different top threes, it just tells me it's pressure on this album. <laughs> April real, 7th, bro. go get that. Shrimp for life. For life. Come on, definitely going down. Now look, I do something. Have y'all been to the strip clubs lately? Nah. Oh yeah. Okay. Nah, you not you, Jimmy? Not out here in Atlanta. Not, it's a different experience in Atlanta. I've been in Miami. I live in Miami. So y'all haven't been to no strip clubs out here? Nah, not not in a minute. Okay. Not in a minute. We might oh, have yeah, been. I just landed this morning. Well, we might have to go on a tour. Nah, for sure. Oh, you know, we hit them clubs, <laughs> That's my favorite man. thing hey, to do. Man, we about to go we on the tour. T-shirt. We got to go. We got to hit the strip look, clubs look, Okay, for sure. look. When y'all come back, we going to do the Freako Therapy. You know what I'm saying? Because yes, I want to see y'all experiences in the club, man. Shrimp Life. Shrimp for Life Shrimp is out. Life. Go get it. If you ain't got no copy of it, go get it. Pre-order it. All that good stuff, man. I appreciate Finals. y'all, boys. And I'm proud of y'all for being just back in the, just coming Dang. back with the music. We needed it. My brother, appreciate going down. you, man. You know that trap house booming. Fresher than you. Let's get it.